wife is having a baby. And why is he asking you? It's his first wife. He's nervous. Look, Allie, I'm expecting a fella, and I know you gotta get back to that. Nathan, are you trying to get rid of me? No. Fellas, come here. Take Adelaide to the drugstore. I just don't want your sandwich to get stuck. And it's across the street. There are lots of open manholes around. And I know you've got a cold. Nathan, you're so thoughtful. You're just the sweetest person. Goodbye. Nathan, you old promoter, you. You look great, Scott. I feel great, Nathan. Two wonderful weeks out west of Nevada. Great place, beautiful scenery. And I beat him for 50 G's at Blackjack. 50 G's? Hey, you gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to Havana tomorrow. Havana? Yeah, there's plenty of action down there. Wanna come with me? Nah, I got a lot of stuff to do. Tell me. How's that with Fine, fine. She's uh, still dancing over at the hot box. I suppose one of these days she'll be getting married. Well, we all gotta go sometime. Not me. Nathan, we can fight. Guys like us, Nathan, we gotta remember that pleasant as a doll's company may be, she must always take second place to aces back to back. Sky Masterson sure ain't getting hitched, and you can bet on that. Oh, hey, I'll bet you a thousand bucks you will someday. Why, Nathan, I never knew you to be a betting man. You always take your percentage off the top. Nathan, let me tell you a story. When I was a young man about to go out into this world, my father says to me a very valuable thing. He says to me like this, son, the old guy says, I'm sorry that I'm not able to bankroll you a very large start. For not having any potatoes to give you, I am now going to stake you some very valuable advice. One of these days in your travels, the guy is going to come to you with a brand new deck of cards on which the seal is not yet broken. And he is going to bet you that he can make a jack of spades jump out of that deck and score cider in your ears. But son, do not bet this man, for sure as you stand there, will end up with an ear full of sight. However, if you are looking for some action, I am willing to bet you the same thousand that you do not know the color of the necktie that you have on. Oh, well, um, it's, well, it's, No bet. Blue. What a crazy color. Hey, you got to leave the drugstore and don't bother me. Hiya, Sky. How's it with you fellas? Nicely, Nathan. Nathan, we took out to the drugstore. She says in order to pick her up for the show at the hot box, I'll end up. Stop the light. Yes, dear. <laughs> I, I mean, yes. <laughs> Yes, dear, that is husband talk if I ever heard it. Nathan, you're trapped. And Adelaide is the type of doll that is most difficult to unload. I don't want to unload her. I love Adelaide, and a guy without a doll, well, if a guy hasn't got a doll, then who's gonna holler at him? A doll is a necessity. Nathan, I'm not putting the rap on dolls. I just say a guy should have them around when he wants them. And they are easy to find. Not real life class dolls. Figuring late parades, Nathan. All dolls are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then how come you ain't 